Hey there. In this lesson, we're going to look at the major pentatonic scale. We've been looking at the minor, great place to start. But now we're going to look at the major. Um, a quick note when talking about major and minor pentatonic scales. If you have a major chord or a dominant chord, you could play major or minor pentatonic. So you got a major chord and you're playing minor pentatonic over it and it actually works. Okay, that minor third in that chord is going to create a blue note uh, kind of suspension over the major third of the chord. So you've got a minor third in the, in the minor pentatonic scale and a major third in the major chord and they actually work together. Okay, it sounds good. It doesn't work the other way around. If there's a minor chord being played, don't play major pentatonic. That major third in the scale over the minor third in the chord sounds really bad. Um, so if it's a minor chord, you have to stick to the minor pentatonic. If it's a major chord or a dominant chord, play whichever one you want. Now, pentatonics get you know a bad rap amongst some music snobs because you know they're simple and they're five notes and they're boxy you know and you know a basic minor pentatonic you know there's your five notes and that's very different sounding than say a Dorian mode or a natural minor You know, they're all minor, minor pentatonic, natural minor, you know, so some players, classical players, jazz players, pop players tend to really prefer the modes and I'll do a lesson on modes because they're important. But if we're looking at blues and rock, you know, blues, rock, blue, rock comes from blues. Um, the minor pentatonic allows for a great amount, or minor and major pentatonic, allow for a great amount of expression because you can mix the two very easily. And this is because the patterns, the physical fingering patterns, are the same. So you don't have to learn a new fingering pattern for a major scale and a natural minor scale and a Dorian mode and a Lydian mode and... You know, they all have different fingerings. This, if you learn the fingerings for minor pentatonic, you already know the fingerings for major pentatonic. Pretty cool. And you can just switch, shift them up and down the neck, and switch between the two at will. So, I'm going to do another video on putting together major and minor pentatonics and how to actually work them together on the neck. But for this video, we're just going to lay out the five major pentatonic shapes, and then we'll go into combining them with minor shapes. So we're gonna start, I'm gonna do E major pentatonic, because we've been playing E minor pentatonic. Again, you can play these in any key. Um, it just depends on where you wanna start, you know, your root note. I'm gonna start up here on this E, because we can't play the, the full E major pentatonic in open position because we're missing notes on the A and D string. So it's really kind of clunky down there to kind of try to play a scale across the neck. Plus it won't show you the first position shape if you want to play in other keys. So this is the first position shape of the E major pentatonic scale or any major pentatonic scale. We're going to play, play our second finger on the root and we're going to play two, four, one, four, one, four, one, three, one, three, one, three. Descending, it's three, one, three, one, two, 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 three, one, two,
two, one, four, one, four, one, four, one. And if you notice, that is the same shape as our uh, second position minor pentatonic shape. Same exact, all the way across the neck. Exact same shape. So let's move down and go to major pentatonic shape two. If you were starting this anywhere else, they would just go one, two, three, four, five, right? Like the minor pentatonics. Um, but because we're playing in E, we have to start with our one shape up here. So the second shape is going to start on the second fret, first finger, and I will call out the fingerings. It's gonna be one, three, one, three, one, three, and we gotta shift down, one, four, one, four, one, three. Descending, three, one, four, one, three, shift down, one, shift back up, three, one, three, one, three, one. Now, we can play a blues scale in the major pentatonic the same as we could in the minor pentatonic. In the minor pentatonic, let's say A minor, we had root, minor third, fourth, flat five, five for our blues scale. In a major pentatonic, it's the flat three that becomes the blue note. So here we started on the second scale tone. Right, we're playing an E, and we started on the major second. So if we play this flat three right there, that's our blue note. Now, you'll notice that shape that we just played is exactly the same shape as minor, E minor pentatonic shape number three. If we came up here and started on the fourth scale degree and played the exact same shape, we have that minor pentatonic. Down here, it's major. So if you move, if you're playing a major pentatonic shape, and you move it up three frets, one, two, oh, yeah, one, two, three, and play the exact same shape, you're now playing it in a minor pentatonic. Likewise, if you're playing a minor pentatonic shape and you move it down three frets you're now playing, and you play the exact same shape, you're now playing in the major pentatonic. Pretty cool. Allows you to switch in between the two effortlessly and without a lot of thinking, man. You just move up three frets and you've changed major to minor tonality like that. Okay, so let's look at the third shape, or third position of the major pentatonic. So we're gonna start on the Major third, right here. And we're gonna play one, four, one, four, one, three, one, three. Shift up a fret. One, three. Shift back down a fret. One, four. Descending, uh, it can be done two different ways. Uh, generally, we would play four, 
one, four, two, three, one, three, one, four, one, four, one. Let's look at that descending again and let me show you the other option. So if you wanna do it without shifting positions and you're not trying to get the blue note, that's really the whole point of the shift, is you, you could just play four, one, four, two, three, one. Allows you to play it without shifting. But if you wanna get the blue note, the flat three, it's right here. So you have to shift. And it's, so it becomes a different finger. Four, one, shift up. Four, three, one, two, shift down. One, three, one, four, one, four, one. So it depends on if you wanna get those blue notes. The other blue note is right here. So we're playing major third, fifth, six, major sixth, root, major second, flat three, three, fifth, sixth, root, major second, flat three, major three, fifth. Okay, let's move up and let's look at the next shape. This one's going to begin on the seventh fret. And it's going to start on the second finger. And we're going to go two, four, two, four, one, four, one, four. We're going to shift up. One, three, one, three. Three, one, three, one, three, shift down, one, four, one, shift back up, three, one, three, one. Now we could have played it without shifting. We could have come down and played four, two, four, two, but again, if we're trying to get the blue note, we have to shift. For this scale, the blue note exists right there. So it exists in a couple places. We have to, it's different ascending and descending. Ascending, we would play two, four, two, four, shift down a half step to get the flat third, shift back up, four, one, four, shift up. One, two, three, one, three. Now coming down, it's a, the, the descending is different. Three, one, three, two, one, three, shift down. One, four, one, Shift up, four, three, one, three, one. So that's the blue scale in that position. And then next we're going to go up to the last position, the fifth position, and it's beginning on the sixth. Okay, and you're gonna recognize it because it's exactly the same as the first position of the natural, uh, minor pentatonic scale. One, four, one, three, one, three, one, three, one, four, one, four. And, you know, just like the minor pentatonic, the flat, the blue note falls in the same place but instead of being a flat five, it's a minor third. So we have the sixth root, minor second, flat third, major third, fifth, sixth, 
root, minor second, flat third, major third, fifth, sixth, root. Now, why does that work? Why is that, you know, that minor shape a major pentatonic in this case? Well, it's because of the connection between the root note, right? We're playing an E and the sixth. This is a very important concept to get your brain around. It's called the relative minor. Every major key, right, has a set of chords, major, minor, and dominant. And the sixth chord is minor, and it's known as the relative minor of the key. A ton of songs. When you hear a song written in a minor key, almost, I don't say always, but the majority of the time, it's going to start with, its root is going to be a sixth chord. A relative minor chord and so if I'm playing major here it's my root and I go down four frets to my sixth now I'm at the relative minor so it's going to be minor so it's a it's a cool concept we'll talk more about it in a later video when we get to um, dealing with chords and uh, harmonies and chord progressions. But I just wanted to kind of introduce you to that idea of the relative minor, the one chord and the six chord, or the one scale and the six scale. You know, very important tonalities that you're going to hear in tons of music. I hope you enjoyed this lesson on the five positions of the major pentatonic scale. See you next time.